Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily create our first Eclipse project with Java 16. We will also see how to set JDK 16 on Eclipse ID. With that, we will create a Java project. Inside, we will create a Java package. And within the Java package, we will create a Java class file. After that, we will also see how to run that Java 16 project on Eclipse ID. At first, guys, you need to install Java 16 and Eclipse ID. We have mentioned the links in the description wherein you can easily install Java JDK 16 then Eclipse ID. So let us open Eclipse ID. Let's go to start. Type Eclipse. Click on it. So guys, we have started with Eclipse. So herein we need to create a new Java project. So you can click here. If the following is not visible, you can straight away go to File. Click on New, then click on Java Project. Now herein, let's add the name of the project. I'll give the name as Amit Application. You can give any name. You need to look here that the location is the default, which we set while installing. That is C users Amit underscore Eclipse workspace and under that our project will go. That is Amit Application. If you want to change the location, just unselect and change the location, but I'll keep the same. If you remember Eclipse workspace is a place wherein all your project files, resources as well as plugins get saved. So the same happened here. Here in JRE, this is the most important part. It is showing AC15 right now. Use an execution environment JRE. You can see 15. But guys, we installed 16 also and it is not visible here. How to enable it? Even here, use a project specific JRE. JDK 16 is not visible. Let's click on default JRE and workspace compiler preferences and click on Configure JRE. Herein you can see the default 15 one is visible. We need to add a 16 one for JDK Java JDK 16. Click on add. Standard VM type. It's fine. Click on next. Now you need to set the JRE definition. Herein set the JRE home. That is the directory. Herein need to set your Java directory JDK 16 directory. If you remember we installed Java in C drive. Program files. Java JDK 16. That's it. This path we need to set here to reach the Java JDK. Click on directory. Here it is. Let us check it again. This is our, let's say this is our C drive. Here in we will go to program files. Then we will go to Java. Here it is. Then JDK and just select the folder. After selecting it, it also wrote the JRE name and everything looks fine. System libraries. Click on finish. Now remember click on apply then apply and close. But if you want to set the default for all the projects, click on the one you just created JDK 16 path Java 16 and click on apply then apply and close. Now here in guys use a project specific JRE. It is still not visible. You can click here and let's click on next. Now keep the same. I'll remove this module info. We don't need it. It's a sample program. Outputs will be visible here. Bin and click on finish. Now here in your project folders will be visible. The project directories I should say. If you still want to check the JDK 16, you can see JDK 16 is visible here. It's set. Our JRE is JDK 16. You can see it clearly. Now we can easily run our Java class under this. Right now the source directory is empty. You can straight away right click here and click on new and click on new Java package or class. But I'll go to project directory. Click on new. I'll first let's say I'll first create a package. Here and I'll add the package name. You can also add any name. Click on finish. Now on the now under this package I'll create a new Java class file. We are following these steps accordingly. Let's say my class name is example. The package is studio PDF, which we just created. Let's yes, we want publish static void main modifiers. We want a default public. Now everything looks fine. Click on finish. Now it will create our example dot Java file. You can see here. Now before moving further, you can see the font is really low. The output font will also be less. Let us change it quickly. Go to window. Click on preferences. After clicking here, you can just type editor here. And here it is. We clicked on colors and fonts. 
click on text font from here here you can see it's 11 right now which is very less you can just keep the cursor here and double click or you can you can straight away keep the cursor here and click on edit but i'll double click here it's the same now change the font i'll change it to 16 you can also change the font face and font style after selecting click on ok now apply and click on apply and close now you can see the font size increased from 11 to 16 this is what we wanted now let us add a sample code here before that guys you can see our package was studyopedia our file name was example and the name of the file example.java should be same with the class file to avoid any errors now let us write a code so guys we wrote a code using system class out output stream and the println method we wrote two lines here's our first java program and studyopedia.com never stop learning both of these should get printed now guys let us save all click on file and click on save all now we need to run the project so you can straight away go to the application and click on run from here run as application or you can go to run and click on run as application you can also press this icon and click on run as as application let us do any one of them i'll click on run and run as java application this application now you can see it is showing the output let us drag it here here it is guys so the output font also increased with that here you can see the same output is visible we successfully ran it so guys in this video we saw how we can easily create a new java 16 project then we saw how we can create a new java package then a new java 16 class file we also ran that we also ran that java 16 project meanwhile before that in the beginning we saw how we can add the jdk 16 to our eclipse id installed jres so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things